Look how straight the corner is. This is some big country, dry, desolate. I left early that morning, brought my mule and some hound dogs. I'd trailed the day before to where a lion had killed a deer at some point. I still think I was more than the day behind, but I thought, well, he's got to be in this country somewhere. I thought I had a good idea where he would head to. So I brought my mule, Big Agnes, some hound dogs, and I saddled up early that morning, ready to go see what I could find. right up to that saddle today and then I'll see if I don't get any barks in there I'm gonna go to the left I trailed down that rim right there before and down to the bottom then out through the saddle beautiful morning kind of cool it was I mean According to my truck, it was like 26 degrees, but then the time I saddled up, the truck said 39 degrees. Ah, stupid Jack. That's a bird he's seen. Traded out dogs from yesterday. I got Jack and Al, Booger, Clara. Those are the older dogs, and I got two pups, uh, Mr. Bean and Apollo Creed. <laughs> so, let's see how the day goes. That's pretty, isn't it? it goes on and on and on. out a little bit of a cool breeze that's that same canyon I was in yesterday and those female dogs well and uh, well the dogs I had yesterday I had Uno and and Timmy but they were going bananas in there barking barking finally we trailed out and that's when we trailed out and found the kill there's water down in the bottom of that thing well today the dogs kind of acted like it was real old and they trail down into here, but they're not balling down in there. So, and I called them out of there real easy. So I'm gonna go back up and split these mountains. I just think that lion left and went out of here. So I need to circle around, see if I can find a good spot to pick him up at. Might be, might have been, I don't know. <laughs> I'll make up a story by the end of the day. So I rode up and over into another canyon. Some of these places you got to know where the fences are down so you can get around. A few barks down in the bottom and that was it. I still think he left out that way, but I was probably more than 24 hours behind him. Maybe this is the way he left out of here. I hope so. It's the way I would have gone if I was a lion. Right out through here, through that big old saddle, over the top, into some new deer country. Who knows? Pretty rough climb out of here. You see, I'm almost at the top of the saddle. Right there. Got to go up and over, and then I'll hit, there's a little cowboy trail off to the side, I believe. Then I'll hit the two track road. I'm going to make a big circle. And if I don't find where he left, then I don't find where he left. That's the way it goes.
All right, let's see what the stats are from this morning. Got done early, so I don't know. Ah, well, 8.13 miles. Moving average is 2.4 miles per hour. Went through some pretty rough country. Been out for five hours and 13 minutes. It's 12.10 right now, so I'm done early. It was a good day. Dad gummit, I thought I'd hit that lion track back over there somewhere. And I got barks just in the bedrock in the bottoms of those protected saddles, or saddles, those protected canyons. But I know it was a day old or two days old. Well, he's still in here somewhere. That's a good thing, I guess, unless you're a rancher and he's eating calves. Then that's a bad thing. I thought about it all night. Where could he have gone? So the next morning, and it was Sunday, and usually I don't like to go out on Sunday, but I thought I would take the buggy and just go out and check some likely spots. Places I could get to fast and easy and still get home in time to eat dinner with my wife. Right on the other side of this pond over here last I don't know it's been four this is the fourth day there was a lion track uh, a biologist called me they had a lion track over there and we trailed this way and trailed back that way a ways and then kind of circled back around came right back where we started from never could get out it was late in the day it was probably shoot I think it was like noon or before I got here, I was somewhere else. And I didn't video it, I had guys with me. There's Jack. A Little bit of ice around the edge of this thing, so it did freeze here last night. Hooking it on up through there. Al's the one who started it right down here. And then Booger picked it up, Rusty did. And even Jack, they're all balling and trailing. You don't reckon they're gonna go up to the, those bluffs up there, do you? There's some dry Tanakas, there's one there and one there. Tanaka. I call it a Tanaka. I don't even know if that's a proper term, but it's a place in the desert or out here. It's a big old opening that holds water or a big old bowl in the bedrock that holds water. I don't know what these dogs are trailing. I hope it's that lion. hope it's an overnight track. hope it's a big old hairy tom. Why did they do that? That was a lot of work. Okay, what are the possibilities here? I mean, one possibility is they're not on a lion. They're on, I don't know, coyote, something. I don't know. I don't think so, though, because Al won't hardly run a coyote. I really, he got away from me one day, and I really 
lit him up for that. Another possibility is I never really found a track we could be backwards on it. And as they trail backwards to right here, it just diminishes and gets weaker and weaker. It's frozen. It froze last night. And we were out here before in the in the bottom of those canyons is still frozen so if that lion walked by on top of the freeze and then you get on this sunny warm I mean it's hot right here I say it's hot it's warm on this sunny side of this mountain then that freeze whatever he walked on that freeze and then it lifted with that Sun there's not hardly any scent left I'm still gonna pretend like that lion went up and out and maybe bedded down on top of this in this little rock pile up above me and if we don't pick up anything in, in here on some of that better rock and better country then I'm gonna circle around and look on the back side and then I'm gonna assume that they were screwing around on something ah the joys of dry ground lion hunting <laughs> now you know why a dry ground lion hound is worth so much money all right, I'll put down this gun. Those dogs are still trailing. You can see the buggy way, way out there. Hit it up that canyon, came up that canyon, came up about three quarters of the way of that mountain, come across through this saddle, up through here, and now they're going back down. Going across that sunny side of that slope was slow going. They almost gave up. I think if I went to been there with them, they would have gave up. I still don't know what it is. After the fox the other day, <laughs> I, I have doubts. Although I jumped deer yesterday. I didn't have any dogs try to trail a deer. And I've made several big circles with them. And I know I've walked over coyote tracks and everything else. And, haven't had them try to run a coyote so and I would hope they wouldn't run a, a fox couldn't go this far but I don't know if he's just moving out in front of them and stopping oh there they go that's Al way out there in front where's that booger here I go back down there at least it's on the way back to the buggy so Maybe they'll catch it in those bluffs down there. Whatever it is. <laughs> we'll find out. I got my exercise though, so that's good. It's healthy for an old man. As long as I don't fall down and break a hip. Somebody in the comment section said, don't, don't fall and break a hip. <laughs> that's very true. Or anything, shoot, break a shoulder. get down there yeah we got down this canyon and they're, they're shut up they can't say anything there's lots of things that could have caused it I mean I don't know but we were up on top right up there As my good friend says, onward and upward, it's just another day. Try to think of the positive. I got some really good exercise that I wouldn't have got unless it had been for some trashy dogs. Got another one of these old, whatever they are, I don't know what they are. Line shacks? I don't know. I mean, that. somebody stacked a lot of rocks for some reason. Is it an old house or just an old camp? People to watch cows? I mean, there is water right here. I mean, historically, I'm sure there's always been water here. Probably used to be a windmill or something. Maybe they had cowboys or something that just hung out here and took care of cows. And, or it might have been just a shack where they had a... What's the, what's the politically correct term now? 
illegal aliens, Mexicans from Mexico. I know what we always call them, but I don't think we're supposed to call them that anymore. It's not, it doesn't, I mean, there's, it's no uh, offense. It's just, just the way we talked, just how we identified them. But look at that, I mean. And they're just dry stacked, there's no, oh, there is a little bit of mud mortar, look at that. Just, yeah. That's a lot of work. That's a big rock right there. Look how straight the corner is. And they put little bitty rocks in there to fill in the gaps. I bet there's a story to it somewhere. I don't know if there's anybody left alive that could tell it. Now look how big that rock is, way up that high. kitchen table right there. Oof. Some kind of critter died right there. <laughs> I bet they had a fireplace or something in one of these corners. Oh well. If I can find out any information on it, I will share it on a video. <laughs> this place looks like the moon. But it's one of the last places I can check in here. I've been here years ago. Well, I was here, I don't know, three or four years ago. And then before that, I bet it was 20 years ago. There's a big dirt tank right on the other side of this dam. There's water here, believe it or not. So, figure I'll just check out for a little Sunday drive. Kind of nasty looking water, isn't it? So many people think that. We're just out here trying to kill lions. There's so much more to it than that. They're just missing the point. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle and you're just trying to put all the pieces together and you're using the aid of a dog's nose to do that. When you're following these dogs around and they're trailing, you get to go to places and see things that the average person will never see. And then to try to do it in this dry, hot, desolate country. It's a challenge. The ultimate test for a hound, I believe. Now that I have time, I'm going to go to some other country. Try some different places. See some new things. But I'll always come back to this desert. It's a part of me. And the challenge of trying to catch such a cryptic creature that challenges the dog's nose to the extreme. I'll always be back as long as I'm able.